It seems to me that we started yesterday's episode with shoulda, coulda, woulda. And I don't want to be saying later on, I should have painted the barbettes first, and then masked them off and then painted the deck. It's really obvious that it's going to be a lot easier to mask a barbette than it is to mask the deck around the barbette. So for those viewers who suggested that, well thanks. I've been sort of entertaining the idea of just uh, painting them by hand with a brush. But you know what? Maybe we can, uh, we can do uh, the Aussie's idea. Yeah, thanks guys. I can well imagine that most of you have been looking at those little tiny details all around the outside of the base of the barbette. Well, you know what? Those aren't really details. Let's put the macro lens on and talk about them. Now, I am pretty sure that you knew I was talking about these things right here, all the way around. Not this, but these things. And uh, if we page ahead to step 26 in the manual, you can see that these these items are just strictly uh, markers so that we know where to put the vents. I'm presuming those things are vents. And uh, now I believe that looking at it really close like this, I can see where it looks like there's enough room to get the masking tape all the way around the outside of the barbette and have the base, the bottom of the masking tape or the edge of the masking tape right against the deck. Let's just see if we can, can actually do that here. Try and bend it a little bit here. I think with a little bit of uh, finagling we can get it, right? Now I'm just practicing here. And as you can see, I'm going to need all the practice I can get. Well, that wasn't very good, but anyway, you get the idea. Yeah, I think we should be able to do that. In that way, there shouldn't be too much overspray of the deck tan going up onto the barbette. I mean, that's that's the idea anyway. Um, okay. Now, these are the four different grays that we have. And we have quite a bit of each one. I think there's about th three jars of each one. Now, the 19 here is almost the same as the plastic is now. A uh, person could say, well, why, why bother painting it if it's already sort of the right color? Well, I, I find that if you don't spray plastic, it looks like plastic, even though you might be spraying it with a flat paint that's the same color. Um, at least that's my opinion. Now, I'm thinking that the, the little, all the little detailed parts that we're going to be putting down on the deck, I'm thinking 77 to paint them because they will contrast with almost anything else I, I choose to put. Um, this might be just a little too dark. Um, this might be this might be more... Well, this is the exact same one that we put on the side of the hull. Um, it's, not, it's not bad. Uh, can't make up my mind. Now, I was thinking afterwards that probably wouldn't hurt to do just a sample of this Steinal Res Gray Primer. I know it's kind of uneven here, but it, it should give us an idea of how it compares with all the rest. Okay, we'll let that let that dry. Try and get the bubbles out of it. I 
Okay. I think it's probably 99% dry, except for maybe in the cracks. Okay, well, now we know. It's kind of like the 66 here, but not quite. Um, yeah, well, like I say, now we know. I can remember having this conversation about a year or so ago when we were trying to figure out what color was the Bismarck. And I was saying something to the effect of that most of the newsreels being shot at the time were done in black and white. Not that color film was not available. The uh, movies Gone with the Wind and The Wizard of Oz, well, they were shot long before the uh, the Bismarck and the Hood had their confronta confrontation. Uh, so color film was available, good color film. Um, however, there's uh, just not a whole lot of our hood here. I found this on, on YouTube just now. Uh, I have seen it before. It does give us a, uh, an idea of what color gray it was. And surprisingly, if you look at it, you can, you can determine that it was a very dark gray, almost a bluish gray. Um, yeah, so I, I guess you can probably figure from that uh, what color we're going to choose here from our swashes. I have finally made up my mind here. I'm going to be using the 66 for most of the uh, bulkheads and so on. And I will be using the 77 for wherever we have a small part that is going to be up against the, like say, the barbettes or something like that. So in other words, we're going to use this on the side of the barbette. I think that's going to be pretty close. Um, yeah, I think it's going to be pretty close. I think the 77 might have been just a little bit too dark. I don't think that the uh, real hood was actually that dark. It was dark though. Anyway, we don't have too much more time here today. I spent a lot of time uh, uh, perusing through the internet looking for what color the hood really was. And uh, so we're going to have to do our spraying tomorrow. Thanks for watching and all being well. We will see you tomorrow.